well hello and welcome welcome to this very early very cold morning heading out on a road trip today as you can see by my bouncy uh, temperature gauge in the car there it's around 18 uh, degrees but I'm heading out going south I'm gonna try to find a place called uh, Bosque del Apache <laughs> And we're going to look for a whole bunch of birds. Hopefully we'll see a bunch of wildlife down there. And uh, it's about, about an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes or so from Albuquerque. And uh, we're heading out now. Let's go. Just a quick uh, pit stop here in Belen. I remember coming here many, many years ago. It's a pretty cool little old diner. Last time I was here, the uh, these motels were not around. This uh, little diner was out here by itself. Pretty cool, like an old-fashioned diner up here on the uh, West Mesa. Finally made it to Socorro, Socorro, New Mexico. Well, I'm going to take a little pit stop here. Maybe grab something for breakfast at this uh, MacDougal's. Then we'll uh, GPS the uh, the wildlife refuge. And figure out how to get there next. Pretty nice little McDonald's here in Socorro. Nice and clean. Okay, per uh, GPS, looks like it's about another 20 miles, 18 to 20 miles, straight south. So we'll take a look at uh, Socorro here as we go through. We are now in the town of San Antonio. No, not that San Antonio. San Antonio, New Mexico. Down some back road here. I don't know. I'm counting on your GPS. Well, from San Antonio, it's another eight miles uh, south. So it's quite a, quite a ways. But we'll get there. We'll get there, hopefully. <laughs> This is just a little turnoff here, and it looks like that uh, water is ice. <laughs> Here's some geese out here, some snow geese, which you don't see very often in the, in the city. But it's a beautiful sight. Look at that. We finally made it. You can see the water down there. Here now at the uh, visitor center. Might as well go see if they're open. Check in there real quick. Now the visitor center doesn't open until nine o'clock. It's about 8.30 right now. Love the sound of a train whistle. Oh, nice little observatory here. You can use the uh, binoculars. There's a couple cranes right there. Ah, you're not real. Look at all this beautiful swampland. We've got a bunch of mule deer over here. Try not to scare them off. See if we can see them into the sun here.
here. Let's see if we can see something from up here. Head up here. Beautiful. All you can hear is the geese. Now there's a bunch of birds back there, a lot of sandhill cranes. Don't know how to get any closer. They're way back there and there's quite a few. You can see them through the trees there at least. Now they probably don't want you doing this. I'll probably have a forest ranger uh, catch me, but I've got to climb my way down here and see if I can get a little closer to the water here. I think there's a canal or something here that's gonna prevent from going any further, unfortunately. But you can see a whole bunch of birds, different kind of birds over there. Sure is pleasant though. Yeah, here's another lookout deck. Let's uh, check it out. See if we can see a field with no birds. And I don't think it matters what time of the year you come here. I mean, as far as the late fall and winter. I think it just depends on how close they are to the roads because you cannot go back in there. It's quite a long uh, dirt road. It just kind of keeps going and going and going. Goes from uh, like swampland, flatland out to uh, a bunch of trees and, and uh, shrubbery. Well, let's go see what this is about. Cougars? Javelinas? Okay. Well, might as well get out and stretch my legs walk down this trail a little bit just to check it out now those were sandhill cranes kind of sound like geese to me but that's the cranes. If we can't get too close to them, at least we can catch them flying over. They kind of sound like a mix between a turkey and a goose. That's, that's what they sound like to me. Observation blind. Look out the little portholes. Ah, that's what I thought. Nothing. Well, I'm going to head up this trail just a little bit longer, just out of curiosity to see what's ahead. Oh, I love a place to walk out in nature without a bunch of car noise. 
Looks like we finally found a place such as that. Ooh, that wind. It is below freezing at this point. Very cold. The chill factor is, uh, probably brings it down to around 25, 26. Now we're just going to walk up here to the, past these trees to a little open space. Well, I wish we could get closer to the birds, but... Well, we got to check out the flight deck. Ah, that's why they call it the flight deck. These are the uh, creakiest boards. Yeah, it makes you a little nervous. But what a view! It's like a lake. That is a, a, a bald eagle. Wow. At the top of that dead tree, you can see the silhouette. You can see them pretty good through the binoculars, but that's a bald eagle right there. Oh well, back to the ducks. <laughs> yeah, some are sleeping. Well, we went through the whole loop on that dirt road and uh, from what I understand it's about seven miles seven miles of dirt road and uh, stopping periodically to take pictures what have you so it took quite a while but uh, I enjoyed it I'm glad we did it oh my goodness this is that little pond that we stopped on the way in. It's all about timing. Check out those snow geese. How beautiful. Now look at these down here. Looks like snow. Geese.
Hitchcock would be proud. They're just having a blast up there. Down here, it's their big get together for the year. And they're just partying on down. I can fly better than you. Never seen so many snow geese in one place. So cool. That made the whole trip worthwhile right there. Don't see them very often. I see the cranes, but not the not the geese. Well, we have the Canadian geese all over town, but snow geese is a little bit uh, a little bit different. Believe it or not, it looks like they're calming down a little bit. There are uh, not as many as in the sky. I think they're coming down. It's kind of interesting the way they kind of kind of fly together there in uh, little groups. Well. Bye, geese. Thanks for putting on a good show. Okay, we're back in uh, San Antonio, New Mexico. Pretty quaint little town. This old home across the street there. Now check this out, the original Owl Bar Cafe. Owl Bar and Cafe. People would stop here from all over because they had the best burgers, they said. Get yourself a burger and a beer. And then they opened up shop in Albuquerque. And uh, I'll show you a shot there. You've probably seen it in my other videos. Hello? Hello? Nope. That doesn't work. Here's the back here, the little seating area. I'd be remiss if I didn't take some shots while I was down here. These old buildings back here, so much history. This old home across the street there. Wow, just takes you back in time. Well, let's check out the uh, Old Town Plaza here in Socorro while we're here. Very small. Pretty cute and quaint. Seems like a pretty pleasant town. I think that's going to do it. I'm going to head north home through Belen and Los Lunas into Albuquerque. It's been a great uh, day road trip going with you. I really appreciate your company. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a nice, uh, nice day to get out before it gets too cold and too windy. So, well, I hope to see you very, very soon. Take care of yourself and others. Bye for now.